Hello friends. Now you see in this case, uh, you you can very easily see that it is a case of scenario manager. Okay. Use the scenario manager feature to calculate various EMIs for a loan for rupees eight lakhs. If interest rate is six percent, loan is taken for two years. Similarly, if interest rate is seven percent, loan is taken for three years. And similarly, interest rate is eight percent, then loan is given for five years. Now you see we need to create these scenarios first. Let me put in loan amount. Loan amount according to you is five lakhs. Okay. Let me bring this thing nearer so that we can actually zoom. So loan is five lakh. No, no. Loan is eight lakhs. 8 lakhs okay loan is 8 lakhs we need to calculate EMI for first case rate of interest is given to be 6 percent okay so what we'll do is like we will we'll just I'll bring in a slight change no problem we'll put in 6 percent so in second case it is going to be 7 percent and in third case it is going to be 8 percent 8 percent so 8 percent is 8 and then percentage so this is an overwriting so we will do it as so next is like uh, you see loan amount time period is again zero so let me put in in first case this is in years so don't write years there but you can mention it here yes so years how many years for first case it is two for second case it is three and for third case it is, it is five okay uh, everything is clear you see what we are trying to do is now oh, we are going to use scenario manager so how many scenarios do we have here we have case one this is case two this is case three okay hope this is very clear so three cases are there loan amount is going to be same for all rate of interest is going to change time period is going to change okay now before we start we need to have again in scenario manager we need to place a formula let me color it and let me put in this formula this formula is going to be for my EMI equated monthly installment so what formula I do use is EMT bracket start so let me put in the rate this value divided by now you see here one thing you need to understand is is it an annual installment or is it a monthly installment so whatever is the case accordingly your formula will change now you see we will try to compute this as a annual installment not monthly if it is monthly then divide this rate by 12 but in this case i am not dividing it because i am assuming it to be only one payment in a year okay we have seen already a case where it is divided by 12 now we are looking into a case where installment is to be paid annually so equal installment means uh, every year for next two years you have to pay installment so i am not going to divide this by 12 second thing is like you have n per n per is you have total two years so how many times are you supposed to make a payment only two times because this, this is not monthly if it is monthly then multiply by 12 now it is only this week and then finally put a minus sign because this is going to be actually a, a type of loan that you have to pay back so hence it is supposed to be giving a minus only because otherwise it will come in red with bracket what it means it is a negative well okay so in order to make it positive and for simplicity of your calculation we are doing now let me press it the moment i press it i get this value okay this value is 4 lakh 36 thousand a person who is taking a six percent loan for rupee 8 lakh time period is two years this value is supposed to pay 4 lakh 36 thousand 349.51 pesa twice okay both the installments are going to be same now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use it for scenario manager. so let me first thing is in scenario manager is you have to name the cell okay so go to formula in formula you have this option called as create from selection if you click it system will automatically pick your labels from the left column and then when you press ok now you see i am supposed to label them so it is 8 lakh rupees shown as loan amount 6 percent is shown as roi uh, this is two years and emi is 436 okay now your cell naming is done let's go back to data tab uh, go to scenario manager go to scenario manager we'll 
and the scenario manager is there. We have to insert the scenario. Scenario one is called as C1. You see here you have changing cell. Changing cell means these are the cells where value will change. Okay. So you want to change it, you do it. If you don't want to do it, it's your choice. So I'm putting in loan amount, I'm putting in rate of interest, I'm putting in time period. So these this is auto-populated value. Now I have to create add. So the moment I am done with it, now I'm creating my second scenario, which is C2. I'm not going to change these cells. Make sure you don't change it. Why? Because only these cells in the entire data is named. Okay. So let me click on OK. And now I'm going to 8 lakh is 8 lakh. 8 lakh is not changing, but rate of interest is going to 7%. And then time period is going to be 3%. 3 years. Now with this, let me press OK. And similarly, I have to create one more scenario, which is C3. And I have no need to change these cells. So now again, 8 lakh rupee is what you have. And then 0 0.07 is uh, now it is 8 okay it is 8 and again it is supposed to be 5 years so I have done it and I have a slight doubt on scenario 2 let me see if it is correct or not so scenario 2 is 8 lakh 7 and 3 years okay everything is good okay, okay. now we have to go to scenario summary now when I run scenario summary I need to make sure I am picking up this result cell as the cell where I have my forms okay so with this we are going to press ok we got the scenario summary this is my final output which I wanted C1, C2, C3 they have the three scenarios loan amount is 8 lakh Your rate of interest is given 6%, 7%, 8% time in uh, number is 2, 3, 5 okay accordingly EMI valuation is given to you if it is a 2 year loan this is the value if time period is getting enhanced so you see loan amount is going to come down to some extent so this is how you tackle a situation on emi using scenario management okay so be careful this is how your output should look at hope uh, this makes sense